more than 50 years of determination to produce the very best long shaft set has made the KKK Group a premier manufacturer of long shaft sets which are renowned domestically and internationally, including in ASEAN nations and South American nations. The company's production process exceeds international standards and employs engineers with extensive expertise. We are one of the largest manufacturers of long shaft sets in the world. Our continuous product development emphasizes efficiency, conservation, and environmental friendliness in order to allow members of society to benefit. This is why our products are always well received by our numerous customers. Our manufacturing process is systematic and methodical, with the utmost regard for details and finesse, starting from the selection of high-quality materials for construction of various components to the formation of propeller molds. Once a suitable mold has been selected, work proceeds to the next step which entails welding together various components. Every part of the manufacturing process is integral to the creation of long shaft sets. Every part of our manufacturing process, including selection of raw materials, molding, and assembly, is subjected to the strictest quality control, testing, and evaluation to ensure compliance with set standards. Our expert testers serve as model customers from the initial stage of manufacturing to the final stage of delivering our products to customers. Each long shaft set is comprised of engine housing, axle, engine base mount, grip or handle, long shaft, engine base, propeller. With our readiness in terms of manufacturing capacity and efficient personnel, we are ready to rapidly meet the demands of domestic and international customers. This makes the long shaft sets of the KKK Group widely accepted at present. As part of our intent to manufacture products that can help boost productivity and improve the livelihood of end users, the KKK Group surveyed customer satisfaction to receive input on the needs and opinions of people who use our products. The information we obtained helped us refine our products to more closely meet the needs of customers in a dynamic society that is experiencing fuel shortages, rising demand for the transportation of increasingly heavy cargo, and development of new reduction engines by manufacturers. These factors are challenges that the KKK Group has consistently overcome through the company's team of experts who are responsible for analyzing, designing, and developing long shaft sets that can continuously respond to changes and customers' demands. These sets include long shaft sets specifically designed for reduction engines. The sets are fuel efficient, easy to use, and maintain, and capable of propelling vessels carrying heavy cargo. Knockdown long shaft sets that were developed to be easy to transport and store. These sets can be conveniently conveyed to any location while still maintaining their capacity to propel vessels. Knockdown long shaft sets have no significant differences from regular long shaft sets. Our propeller blades were forged at 180 to 220 degrees Celsius to sustainably increase durability and aesthetic form. All of these products are the pride of the KKK Group in our capacity as a leader in long shaft sets. We will continue to invent and develop our products to continuously respond to the demands of our customers.
The assembly of standard long shaft sets is conducted through the following steps. Step 1. Attach the engine base mount to the gunwale of the vessel by tightening washers. Step 2. Attach the engine base to the engine base mount and tighten the nuts underneath. Step 3. Place a prepared engine inside the engine base. Observe whether the engine and engine base have been placed in appropriate positions before tightening nuts at four points. Step 4. Insert the handle into the handle insertion point on the engine base at an angle that is appropriate for steering the vessel. Tighten nuts at two points on the engine base. Step 5. Unscrew the washers fastened to the filter plate that covers the throttle of the engine. Step 6. Remove the wire located inside the throttle cable. Fully insert the wire into the slot on top of the engine. Insert one end of the throttle cable into the slot on the steering handle. Fully insert the wire into the other end of the throttle cable. Tightly clamp the black wire by tightening nuts to prevent the wire from slipping. Step 7. Place the engine filter plate into its original position before tightening washers. Step 8. Position the throttle cable case on the slot at the end of the handle before tightening screws and nuts. Insert the wire into the case and tighten screws and nuts. This concludes the installation of the handle. Step 9. Begin assembling the engine housing by connecting the internal axle of the housing to the engine axle. Observe the position of the three nuts and whether they correspond with the nuke of the engine axle. When the two components have been assembled, tighten the three nuts. Step 10. Assemble the flange with the engine housing by observing the location of the bearings on the engine housing. The bearings should fit properly into the axle of the engine. Grease can be coated on the flange before it is installed into the engine housing. Properly align the two slots and tighten nuts at four points. Step 11. Use an open-end wrench with the socket joint to tighten the flange by turning it in a clockwise direction until completely tight in the internal axle. Step 12. Grease both grease points and tighten washers over the flange. Grease can be coated on the flange if not already done in accordance with Step 10. Pack grease into the flange until completely coated.
Step 13. Install the long shaft onto the flange or the socket joint and tighten two washers. Step 14. Remove brass nuts from the long shaft in order to install propellers. Observe the nuke of the long shaft and the propellers to ensure that they are aligned. After installing the propeller, tighten the brass nuts. In the installation of the DIY long shaft set, there are the following steps. Step 1. Affix the prepared engine to the engine base. Observe whether the engine and its base are attached in appropriate positions, then tighten four nuts. Step 2. Insert the handle into the handle insertion point on the engine base at an angle that is appropriate for steering the vessel. Tighten nuts at two points on the engine base. Step 3. Remove the washers from the engine filter plate that covers the engine throttle. Step 4. Remove the wire located inside the throttle cable. Fully insert the wire into the slot on top of the engine. Insert one end of the throttle cable into the slot on the steering handle. Fully insert the wire into the other end of the throttle cable. Tightly clamp the black wire by tightening nuts to prevent the wire from slipping. Step 5. Place the engine filter plate into its original position before tightening washers. Step 6. Position the throttle cable case on the slot at the end of the handle before tightening screws and nuts. Insert the wire into the case and tighten screws and nuts. This concludes the installation of the handle. Step 7. Connect the internal axle with the engine axle and tighten with three nuts. Step 8. Assemble the flange with the engine housing by observing the location of the bearings on the engine housing. The bearings should fit properly into the axle of the engine. Grease can be coated on the flange before it is installed into the engine housing. Properly align the two slots and tighten nuts at four points. Step 9. Grease both grease points and tighten washers over the flange. Grease can be coated on the flange if not already done in accordance with Step 8. Pack grease into the flange until completely coated.
Step 10. Assembly both sections of the long shaft. Observe the internal axle of the shaft to ensure that both sections lock correctly. Tighten nuts. Install the long shaft into the locking slot of the flange and tighten two washers. Step 11. Remove brass nuts from long shaft in order to install propellers. Observe the nuke of the long shaft and the propellers to ensure that they are aligned. After installing the propeller, tighten the brass nuts. Step 12. Install bipod to the gunwale of the vessel and tighten with two nuts. Step 13. Fasten the engine base to the bipod. This concludes the assembly of the DIY long shaft.